What's up, dog? What's up, man? Howdy, fucking howdy, motherfuckers. What's up, Kel? Finally, hey, dog. All right, so it's show day. It's Saturday, the 18th of January. I'm here. It's like what, 11:30? Probably like 12:30. I'm yeah. fucking late for every fucking show there has ever been. I'd be late for the fucking main of WrestleMania. When I get married, my wife will be waiting at the altar for me. <laughs> That'll be better anyway. She can wait, and everyone can stare at me and look at my beautiful walk down the fucking aisle. Your poor wife. Yeah, we're gonna drive, we're gonna be late, it's raining, Rideki's halfway through sex change. Mm. So if his voice changes halfway through the show, you guys just gotta leave him, alright? <laughs> didn't get much sleep, went to the gym at like fucking what, 1 a.m. or something. I don't know, it was good. I don't feel tanned enough, my hair looks pretty good. It's gonna take me forever to leave because I always feel like I'm forgetting something because every single show I've ever done, I've forgotten something. I'm nervous, mm. but I'm energetic. Alright, motherfuckers, we're about to head down to ECBC for my return to the ring here with Mitchell Rideki, my brother. I'm gonna film a little documentary about me coming back to wrestling as I just came out of fucking prison and I'm gonna get my life back together and this is the biggest hurdle for me so I'm gonna take the uh, two hour 45 minute drive down to Cessnock, New South Wales Wrestling for Suplex Wrestling which is owned by Jackson Spade, a long time friend of mine who yeah. I trained actually Fun fact, Rodecki used to wrestle with him in the backyard <laughs> Many, many <laughs> years ago maybe Put a pit over the backyard there I've had like nearly a thousand matches, legit a thousand um, over that 12 years. And there's three times out of that thousand where I was so nervous. Two of those three times I spewed before the match, I was so nervous. And the other one, I was just shaking and shit. But those three times were the first time ever, which was only a rumble, but it was my first ever match. That was CPW Clash in the Capital Four in Canberra. Second one was my first time for the Nightmare Wrestling because that was when I was breaking out of the UWF bubble. And the third one was my first time in Japan. <laughs> That's probably one of the most nervous. But today, making my comeback after three years and two months away from wrestling, I dare say I might throw up again. <laughs> it's one of those days I, you know, I love the experience, but I really just want it to be over. I just want it to be done. I just want to kick him back, having a beer, and just be proud of what I've done because this build up and suspense, it sucks right now. But at the same time, I'm super happy. Right, we're in uh, Cessnock, apparently we're nine minutes away from the venue. I'm fucking so nervous, I'm gonna throw up, probably on Rodecki's lap. This is the biggest mountain I've probably ever climbed. Although it's not really that big, I just need to calm the fuck down and just do my thing. And not worry about what other people think. Don't worry about what other people think, kid. And don't sell drugs. Only just. You didn't give me much time. Sorry. <laughs> G'day. We got matching shirts, how embarrassing. That is, it really is. We should have discussed this before we came. <laughs>
164 days. I sat in my dreams about the moment where I could finally say, I'm back! <laughs> Why did us come out and kick Jackson Spade in the dick? <laughs> I trained Jackson Spade. He was like my protege. I made him into our good he is today. Now I've been sitting back for the last year or two watching the movie you made with his company. Quite frankly, I'm sick of it. Well, here's what's going to happen. January 18th, how about me and you? For all time's sake. I'll do my active sexual to Australia. I travelled to Japan a number of times, travelled all over the country. I did everything you could do. Until October 21st, 2016, my whole life came undone. In one day, I lost everything. My house, my possessions, the girl I love, friends, my freedom. The pain of despair, the sadness of anger, the violence. There were days where I just didn't want to wake up, I was just throwing the towel. But there was this little flame inside my heart, it just wouldn't go out. It told me that you can't give up. And that little flame stayed with me the whole time. That little flame saved my life. That little flame is my passion for professional wrestling. We all deserve that shot of redemption. Hey kids, I'm about to make history by taking on Jackson's <laughs> <Stop again. laughs> I'm about to uh, make my wrestling return. I wrestle my longtime friend Jackson Spade. He's been a bit of a dick lately, so I'm gonna teach him a lesson with all these really violent weapons and shit. It's gonna be very painful, it's gonna be tense, I'm nervous. I'm nervous energy and anxiety, but I feel fucking excited. I'm happy, I feel accomplished, and um, I just hope that people make some fucking noise when I get out there. And um, obviously in my ring jacket pocket, we don't want that. Anyone who watches this, thank you for supporting me. Thank you for coming to the show if you're here. Um, thank you for spending time to watch this video. Stay tuned because she's gonna get fucking crazy. Mm. Give me a Greg bounce. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> bronze the fuck up. Dressing up the mic here. Mm -hmm. What's going uh, on on your back? With glitter. I um, got cooked in the sun. Yeah. And it was really fucked up. I was working on this tent for a month and then um, the sun took it away from me. Yeah. Son of a bitch. Oh. Son of a bitch. I like that. Yeah. So funny. The time has come. I'm here at East Cessna Bowling Club. I'm here in all my gear. The spandex still fits. It's a mix of old, mix of new. My jersey. My merch is already selling off the shelf. Mm. I hope. Um, but yeah, about to stretch, do some push ups. We were two and a half fucking hours late, as always. Um, sorry. I'm not really nervous at all. Actually, I'm feeling quite confident to get out there. I'm really excited. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, some crazy shit's gonna happen in the match. I'm gonna be sore as fuck tomorrow. Um, yeah, happy to be here, happy to be part of Suplex. Hopefully, your nerves don't come on and uh, let's go do some crazy shit.
I know you guys just saw a war. There really is absolutely no hate between us. And this is nothing more than a violent athletic competition. I noticed a few of you guys in the audience crying because of the thumbtacks and that. As much as I'm in a world of pain, we do this for your entertainment and I know what I'm doing. Plus, I'm a mortal, so... I just have to say thank you to all you guys in attendance and everyone backstage for letting me be a part of pro wrestling again after my hardships where I've been. Tonight to me was symbolic of becoming hardship and proving that people could come back all the way from the darkest places. Thank you very much and good night. I love each and every single one of you. You didn't take the cap off, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you really want me to use this to get him out? Well, if you can't use your fingers. Yes, you can, Just fucking pull it. Thank you.